afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the National Museum of the American Indian. I hope you're enjoying the first day of our K Walking Stick Weekend Hands-On Salon. Um, it's a two-day event focusing on the life of renowned Cherokee contemporary artist Kay Walking Stick. For those of you who may have just entered the museum, uh, this event uh, is honoring her exhibit, which is on the third level of the museum. We hope you visit her gallery. The exhibit is closing on September 18th, so you have a few weeks before that exhibit leaves um, for Phoenix, Arizona. So we're hoping uh, you see that today as part of your um, routine for walking through the our fine museum. We have a number of activities related to families, uh, if you're interested, as well on this level. For children, we have a number of uh, craft activities uh, that are tied into the theme of K Walking Stick. And also on the third level of the museum, near the gallery in question, we also have a number of um, uh, craftspeople of Native American descent who are both um, Nez Pierce and um, also Navajo. So if you're interested in seeing some ongoing activities, um, we'd like you to visit our uh, crafters on the third level as well. Now we'll get ready to open up with a, um, a wonderful uh, performer, uh, Native American recording artist, uh, Martha Redbone. She is of Cherokee descent, and her music is a mixture of rhythm and blues, soul music influences, fused with elements of traditional Native American music. She burst on the scene in 2002 with the Native American Music Awards and is a very don't famous all, artist. So don't we hope all that of you guys that. get you a chance. You don't have to read all of that. That's <laughs> embarrassing. Oh, you thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm oh. Martha Redbone, everybody. Yeah, thank you. I'm Red <laughs> See you, everybody. See you. Halito. Chimichakma. <laughs> So I'm Cherokee and Choctaw. My mom was Cherokee and my grandpa was Choctaw. And um, we're from Harlan County, Kentucky. Um, and a lot of our family are still in Oklahoma. Um, our extended family's there. We're also on my dad's side, who's African American and Lumbee. Um, there's 300 of us in North Carolina. So if you knock on the door, it's probably my, one of my cousins. So <laughs> in Robeson County. Anyway, I'm going to start out, this is just little old me today, and um, I'm going to do like a mixture of some songs and also sing some, do some call and response. So we're going to try to make this um, like a little congregation because up in Appalachia where I'm from, we do a lot of, you know, call and response and congregational singing. So would you guys like to learn a little bit of Salagi? Well, you really, if I, if I holler, will you holler back? All right. Oh, y'all are ready today. All right, well, this first one, I'm going to honor the women. This is a women's honoring song, so you guys just sit tight and, uh, for a minute, and, um, and I'll do a prayer. It's called Anagea. It's honoring women. Anagaya, we how we ya, we how no we, we how we ya, we na we ya, we we ya, ha ha ha. Anagaya, we how we ya, we how no we, we how we ya, we na we ya, we we ya, ha ha We na we na we. We know where we are. We know where now where we are. We are we are we are we are we are we are we we are we are we are we are Way, 
Of Salagi. This one is called, I should tell you that the Anagea song was written by a dear sister of ours, uh, Joan Henry, who you might um, have heard some of her music. Um, so Google our friend Joan Henry, who's a, a beautiful singer, and she's the one who wrote the Salagi chant. So, um, we're going to do, um, I'm going to do a song that's called Life is Beautiful, Ostala Nitua. Um, and that we're thankful for this beautiful world. And so we're blessed with a beautiful day for probably like another hour. <laughs> and, um, and then it's going to definitely rain because I brought my drum. <laughs> okay, here's your Salagi lesson, all right? And we say, Ozda a Alani Tua. Osta a lani tua. Osta a lani tua. Osta a lani tua. So that's your part, okay? So whenever you hear me do that, you just call it out after, okay? The other part, I can tell you that it's a beautiful world. We can say we're thanks, to, give thanks to the Creator for this beautiful world we are dancing. Um, so I'll just, I'll sing it, and then when you hear me do, Osta ala ni tua, then you join me, okay? Osti toti e lo la di e hi, Osta ala ni tua, Osta ala ni tua, We hena heya heya, we hena heya heya. I, I, I snuck that one in because that was, that's no words, that's just a chant, okay? We hena heya heya. We hena heya heyo. All righty. All right, guys, don't worry, I have a song for you to don't feel like singing. <laughs> it impresses the ladies, though. <laughs> Here we go. Otsi toti e lo la di e hi Osta ala ni tua Osta ala ni tua We hena heya heya We hena heya heya Wa toti e lo u i tu i Osta ala ni tua Osta ala ni tua we hena heya heya. We hena heya heyo. Very good. Give yourselves a hand for singing. <laughs> I'll tell you a little story about um, how we came to the the project that we've been traveling with. Um, I used to do, sing a lot of rhythm and blues and soul music, and then um, the elders back home, family members and people of our community started passing, passing on. And so um, when you start losing these amazing people in your family who can help you keep your culture, help you keep your language, share our stories, and you see that leaving, I wanted to kind of honor them, you know, and honor this rich land that we came from. Um, a lot of people, you know, when they think of Harlan County, Kentucky, you know, they think of coal mining, right? You know, and kind of the union 
uh, workers and, you know, the, all the fights, you know, and that kind of stuff. And also when you think of um, most people, when they think of Appalachia, you know, and those mountains, they basically think of, well, a bunch of white people who sleep with their cousins. <laughs> Strack a nerve, didn't it? But, um, <laughs> but what they don't know is that the blacks and natives, we did it too. <laughs> We're there too. <laughs> so we are, my family are one of the original Cherokee families in those hills in Black Mountain. We're still there. There's only ever been two people that have ever left. Um, people don't know that in those lands, in those hills where the original ancient Cherokee burial mounds. And so everybody in our family, no matter where we're from, we always come back home for ceremony. Whenever we, we die, we're buried there. You know, that's just how our family is, you know? And a lot of people didn't know this story. I wanted to share that. Um, so my, my husband and I are developing a musical um, to tell our story, to tell our family story. Um, I also recorded a, a record um, taking the poetry of William Blake and setting it to this beautiful music, which is, um, you know, a celebration of all the music from all the people who have ever come to our mountain. And, um, and that's called the Garden of Love, Songs of William Blake. And so I'm going to sing a couple of those songs for you today, too. So I hope you're, I hope you're okay with that. All right? All righty. Um, thank you. One of the songs I'll do, the, the album was produced by John McEwen from the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. Have you all heard of the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band? You haven't? Okay, well, you're in for a treat. Um, who's heard of um, uh, Mr. Bojangles? Anybody know that song, Mr. Bojangles? Okay, then that's where John McEwen's band came from. Um, have you heard of Steve Martin, the Hollywood actor? and the jerk and all of that. That was his high school buddy. And John is also the producer of Steve Martin's album, The Crow, um, which won a Grammy a couple of years ago. So we were very lucky to have him, you know, produce our record, considering given their busy schedule. Um, this poem, we found this William Blake poem. Now this po these poems are way over 200 years old and the meanings still ring true today. Um, over 200 years ago, William Blake was sitting in England during a time of war. Um, he wanted people to have compassion for each other. He wanted a call for the healing of the earth. Um, he wanted everyone to find a way to, um, to lend an extended helping hand to someone in need. All of these things, and here we are 200 years later still trying to figure out the same thing, right? So um, we found this poem where um, he actually mentions John McEwen in the, in the poem from 200 years ago. So he knew that John was going to produce my record. <laughs> so I'll sing that to you. And it's a mountain holler. It's called The Echoing Green. The sun does arise and make happy the skies. The merry bells ring to welcome the spring. The skylark and thrush, the birds in the bush, sing louder around to the bell's cheerful sound. While sports shall be seen on the echoing green. Oh, John with white hair does laugh away care, sitting under the oak among the old folk. They laugh at our play, and soon they all say, such, such were the joys when we're all girls and boys. In our youth time, we're seen on the echoing green. To the little ones weary, no more can be merry. The sun does descend and our sports have an end. 
Round the laps of their mothers, many sisters and brothers, like birds in their nest, are ready for rest and sport no more, seen on the darkening green. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna do a, um, I'm gonna do a song that began my relationship here with this amazing museum. Back in 2005, um, when the museum opened, I, had, I was invited to sing as part of the opening ceremony. Um, and at that same time, uh, the late Floyd Red Crow Westerman um, and John Densmore from The Doors did an album project, a tribute to uh, the music of Peter Lafarge. And uh, Peter Lafarge was a songwriter, a singer-songwriter in the late 50s and 60s who hung out with Buffy St. Marie and Pete Seeger and Bob Dylan. And they call him a, a protest songwriter, but I say he wrote the truth about what was going on in the world. And so, um, he, to the point where Johnny Cash recorded an album of his music as well. This particular song, um, I was invited to sing background vocals, and this album project is now a part of the museum's permanent library collection. Um, it's a song about Indian boarding schools. I also um, had the pleasure and honor of singing it on stage with Buffy St. Marie, who's one of my heroes. So, um, I want to share that with you and um, and this story and the story of Indian boarding schools. And um, whenever I sing it, you know, there's always elders who say, "Keep telling our story, keep singing our story, and 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 tell people about what happened." Because not a lot of people know um, the stories of the Indian boarding schools here. Are you all familiar with that? Okay. Well, if you ever get the chance um, to go up to Carlisle, Pennsylvania, you should go and visit the Carlisle Indian School. Um, that's where Jim Thorpe went to school and, um, and also my friend Ed Hall's family went there as well. Um, and you can learn a lot about uh, the history of America that they don't teach you in the books in school. Okay, so here's the singing part, Church of NMAI today. It goes, there are drums. There are drums. So I'll sing. And there are drums. Beyond the mountain, there are drums. Right? So you say, and there are drums. There are drums. Beyond the mountain, there are drums. All right? You got that? So you just say, there are drums twice. Here we go. And it's dedicated to Peter, to Johnny Cash, who put this on the map for me, and to all of the elders who are survivors of Indian boarding schools. From the Indian reservation to the governmental school, well, they're going to educate me to the white men's golden rule and I'm learning very quickly for I've learned to be ashamed and he comes when they call him Billy though he's got an Indian name And there are drums beyond the mountain. Indian drums that you can't hear. There are drums beyond the mountain. And they're getting mighty near. And when they think that they change me, they cut our hair to meet their needs. 
Will they think me black or Indian? A quarter blood or just some half breed? Let me tell you, Mr. Teacher, when you say you'll make me right in 500 years of fighting, not one Indian ever turned white. And there are drugs beyond the mountain. Put your hands together. Indian drugs that you can't hear. There are drugs beyond the mountain. And they're getting mighty near. Well, you thought that we knew nothing when they brought us here to school. Just another empty Indian, just America's first fool. Well, I'll tell you, tell you stories that are burnt and dark. Oh, and in the shadow of their telling walks the thunder proud and bold and there are drugs beyond the mountain Indian drugs that you can't hear there are drugs beyond the mountain and they're getting Well, there's Lone Pine and Sequoia and some Lake and Sitting Bull. Then there's Magnus, Colorado, with his sleeves so red and full. Crazy Horse, the legend, and those who bit off Custer's soul. They are dead yet. They are living with the great Geronimo. And there are drugs beyond the mountain. Indian drums that you can't hear. There are drums beyond. And they're getting mighty near. You may teach me this land history, but we taught it to you first. We broke your hearts and bent your journeys. Broken treaties left us cursed. Even now they try to cheat us, even though they think us tame. In our losing, we found proudness, and in your winning, you found shame. And there are drugs beyond the mountain. Indian drums that you can't hear. There are drums beyond the mountain, and they're getting mighty near. And they're getting mighty near. And they're getting mighty.
Okay. If I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning. I'd hammer in the evening. All over this land, I'd hammer out danger. I'd hammer out a warning. I'd hammer out love between my brothers and my sisters. Oh, all over this land. Clap if you know the song, sing along. I saw somebody singing it. If I had a bell, I'd ring it in the morning. I'd ring it in the evening. All over this land, I'd ring out dance. I'd ring out a warning. I'd ring out love between my brothers and my sisters all over this land. If I had a song, all right? One, two, one, two, three. If I had a song, I'd sing it in the morning. I'd sing it in the all over this land. I'd sing out danger, I'd sing out a warning, I'd sing out love between my brothers and my sisters all over this land. All right, we're gonna say it all now, all right? Hammer, bell, and song. If I had a hammer and I had a bell, and I had a song to sing all over this land. It's the hammer of justice. It's the bell of freedom. It's a song of love between my brothers and my sisters all over this land. It's the bell of love between my brothers and my sisters all over it's a song between my brothers and my sisters all over this land. Thank you. So I hope, I hope you guys are enjoying the sing-along, you know. I know there's lots of things and beautiful things to see in the, in the museum. And uh, thank you all for taking the time to come and sit and, and enjoy some of it. And um, part of the reason I love make, doing congregational singing is because, you know, we're in this digital age where everyone's just staring at their phones, you know, and, and doing everything just insular. And so I love the idea of all the ages coming together and singing these songs and learning things that, you know, that our ancestors have fought for. Uh, for all of us to be in the same room together, you know, and to care about each other and to do good work for, for everyone. So I hope you're enjoying what, what I'm doing today. You having a good time? <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm going to sing a song that... Um, Kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm rediscovering all of these amazing songs that, and I know I'm, it must be a sign that I'm getting old. <laughs> because my, um, these are songs that are from my childhood, you know, that my parents sang. And so I'm going to sing a song uh, by the Staple Singers that was recorded in 1964. And the Staple Singers were a part of the original uh, Freedom Riders who fought for the rights of people of color to vote. And so um, I have a, a, a friend of mine, and we do a lot of uh, work and a lot of music, uh, Toshi Regan, and her mom was one of the original Freedom Riders who began this movement. And she is now um, almost 82 years old, and she is an amazing spirit and a wonderful singer. And I'm so honored to have her in my life. And, um, and we want to honor the legacy that many people have died for. Um, and I'm going to sing this song because we're in D.C. I'm in D.C. this weekend, and it's called It's a Long Walk to D.C. And uh, so it's about, it's about that. And so that will be also your singing part. It goes, long walk to D.C. Can you do that? Long walk to D.C. 
That's it. That's all your part. I don't make you work that hard, right? So here we go. And, I, and of course, I do need the church claps and my people's no. Come on, everybody, right? It's about, uh, uh, um, mm, mm. Yeah. It's a long walk to D.C. Everybody. It's a long walk to D.C. 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 But I got my walking shoes on. I can't take a plane or pass the train because my money ain't that long. America, we believe oh, that you love us still. So people, I'm going to be under to wipe away my But I'm on my way. Sing with me. It's a long walk to DC. But I know I'll make it someday. I know it's a whole lot of rocks and reels until I make it there. I should have been going on yesterday, but today I'm leaving here. I gotta die to buy some coffee. I gotta die to buy me a cake. I gotta see the president. No matter how long it takes, it's a long walk to DC. But I'm on my way. Yeah, it's a long walk to DC. But I know I'll make it someday. a whole lot of rocks and real until I make it there. I should have been gone on yesterday, but today I'm leaving here. I gotta die to buy some coffee. I gotta die to buy me a cake. I gotta see the president. No matter how long it takes, it's a long walk to D.C., but I'm on my way. It's a long walk to D.C., but I know I'll make it someday. Step out of Jackson, down Mississippi way. Through Alabama, I'm a Memphis way. Through North Carolina, Virginia too. And here I am. Standing on the national ground. Everybody, it's a long walk to DC, but I'm on my way. It's a long walk to DC, but I got my walking shoes on. It's a long walk to DC, but I'm on my way. It's a long walk to DC. But I know I'll make it someday. I want to sing, um, since we have this beautiful reverb, I want to sing a hymn. I don't know if it'll come through. <clears throat> um, but it's called, uh, I Heard an Angel Singing. <clears throat> and part of the album, that, the reason that we recorded the William Blake album um, was because um, it was not only as a, to, uh, a tribute to my family, but at that time, uh, my auntie was fighting a battle with cancer, and then, um, which she eventually lost. And you know, when people are kind of when been ill for a long time, you you know you anticipate that, but you're never fully prepared for that final phone call. And so, um, but that happened, and then we all went home. But what we but we knew that it was coming. What we didn't know was that my own mom, um, her sister passed away 
not even four weeks later, very suddenly. And so, you know, I lost them both, like within a month of each other. And I was like, dang it, mom. They're competing all the way to the end, you know? <laughs> and so, um, so this poem, I heard an angel singing. When you read a line like that, when you read this poem, it inspired us to write a hymn. And so I'm gonna hope that the acoustics of this beautiful space can hold the sound of that. Does it sound good out there, guys? I wanna thank Lucky and, Lucky and Steve for holding it down for us as they always do here. <clears throat> I heard an angel singing when the day was springy. Mercy, pity, peace is the world's release. And thus he sang all day over the new moon hay till the sun went down. And haycocks look brown. I heard a devil curse over the heath and the first, and mercy could be no more if there was nobody poor. And pity no more could be If all were happy as we At his curse the sun went down And the heavens gave a frown And down poured the heavy rain Over the new reaped grain and misery's increase is mercy, pity, peace. I heard an angel sing. All right, here we go. It's time for me to get funky again. <laughs> Here's your singing part. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, for all the guys. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, here we go. You know what to do. This is your, you're my drum. Come on, everybody, church clap. Ah. Because friends don't let friends clap on one and three. So help your fellow man. That's it. Ah. <laughs> All in silence about the jail. Had no money for the gold they pay. Keep their eyes on the prize. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on. All the silence began to shout. A doors popped open and they walked out. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on. That's it. Hold on. Hold on. Keep 
your eyes on the prize. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on. Well, the only chains that we can stand are the chains of the hand in hand. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on. Got my hand on the freedom plow. Won't take nothing for my journey now. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to teach you guys one verse of Amazing Grace in Cherokee. Would you like to learn that? Who's game for that? Thank you for coming, guys. Okay, you got to listen, though. Ready? I'll do little phrases, okay? Une. Lena Iu Wichi Iga Goya Hehi Nahakwa Sosa we lo se iga go ya hona hona welcome <laughs> that was good all right so you got all that memorized now we're going to sing it all the way through Let's try it. I'll ch let's try one line. Une lena iu echi iga goya hey. Pretty good. You guys are getting savvy. Nakwa so sa we you lo say Iga Goya Hona Yay That was pretty good. You did better than my kids. You know, some of the kids, uh, the little kids seem to get it quicker than the teenagers. But I wonder why that is. But teenagers don't seem to want to do anything unless it's what they want to do, right? <laughs> Except 
for you who I'm taking home, of course. I'm going to do a song by another uh, female singer-songwriter from Appalachia uh, named Ola Bell Reed. Uh, Ola Bell Reed is one of the few uh, published sing female singer-songwriters in, in her time. Uh, she, she performed with her, her dad and her brothers, and um, she has a wonderful catalog of, of her songs, over 200 songs published. And this is a song that I love to um, sing. I just love the melody and it's called Undone in Sorrow. And, um, and in Appalachia, there's a lot of songs that have the word sorrow and lonesome in it, so this is one of them. And I have another sorrow song that's gonna come after, so. <laughs> Here we go. <clears throat> and it's a mountain holler. Over yonder in the graveyard where the wild wildflowers grow Oh, there they lay My own true lover She's gone from me forevermore Fairer than the sweetest flower Restless as the wildest wind but with a love deep as the ocean, this was a girl that I did win. After they're back in the mountain to see the world riches to gain. Oh, when I return, no earthly treasures could ease this heart so full of pain. They're so high upon that mountain. Beneath that little mound of clay, oh, the girl that I returned to marry, so still among the flowers that lay. kind of knows from back in the day, Aiko Aiko. Do you know that song, the Southeastern Mardi Gras song? Um, it's interesting because there's a lot of meanings behind it. A lot of professors have done research in the translation. Do you know what I'm talking about? Aiko Aiko Aine, Giacomo Fina Anane, Giacomo Fina Anane, right? You know that song? So it's interesting. People have said that uh, the translation is, um, is a Yoruba. One professor said it's a Yoruba translation, which means um, the king is born, you know, all love, uh, all love to the king that's being born. Um, 
then um, there's also a Creole translation that says, um, Jacob is here, wait for him, wait for him, Jacob is coming, which is like the king is coming, I'm assuming. And then someone said that they think it's a native translation, and they said it was Chukmafina, which is Choctaw, which means that everything is good. So that's, so I guess, um, you know, in Louisiana, where this music came from, you know, it's a combination of native, of Yoruba, and of French, obviously. So I'm gonna sing that, and if you guys wanna come along, just sing along and do some hand claps with me, I'm gonna sing it. I just discovered it this morning, and I thought it would be fun to do. So I'm doing it really on the fly, right? So bear, bear with me. <laughs> because I can't see. Where are you going? Okay. <laughs> I'm sensitive. <laughs> I love doing that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Everybody ready to do that? My flag boy told your flag boy, sitting on the bayou. My flag told boy, your flag boy, I'm gonna set your flag on fire. Talking about hey now, hey now, hey now. Hey. Iko, Iko, Ani. Jackie Mofino, Anani. Jackie Mofino, Ani. Talking about hey now, hey now. I go, I go, I eh. Jack and Mofino, Anani. Jack and Mofino, Anani. My Marie told your Marie, sitting on the bayou. My Marie told your Marie, I'm gonna set your tail on fire. Talking about hey now, hey now. I go, I go, I eh. Jack and Mofino, Anani. Jack and Mofino, Anani. Talk about hey now, hey now. I go, I go on it. Jack and Mofino, Anande. Jack and Mofino, Anande. Hey, sounds good. All right. See Marie down the railroad track. I go, I go on it. Putting it here in the chicken sack. Jack and Mofino, Anande. Talk about hey now, hey now. I go, I go on it. Jack and Morfino, Anani. Jack and Morfino, Anani. Talk about hey now, hey now. I go, I go, Anani. Jack and Morfino, Anani. Jack and Morfino, Anani. My little boy told your little boy, get your head on my yo. My little girl told your little boy, we're gonna get your chicken wire. Talk about hey now, hey now. I go, I go, Anani. Chuck him off in a anane, chuck him off in a anane. Talk about hey now, hey now. I go, I go on it. Chuck him off in a anane, talk him off in a anane. On the top roof, hey now, hey now. I go, I go on it. Chuck him off in a anane, chuck him off in a anane. All righty. Well, I'm do one more song, and I want to thank you all for coming and for sharing the music and for your beautiful voices and, and congregational singing, church claps. Thank you all. Give yourselves a round. Thank you. And it's such an honor to sing here in the museum. And thanks to Sean Terman and, and the whole crew for their support. I'm, I'll, I'll also be here tomorrow at 2 o'clock, so come on by. And, um, and if you liked it today, bring some friends. You know, we got some seats to fill up. And, uh, and again, an honor. And I, and I do have music, it's inside my raincoat. So you have to come and see me after. And I accept hugs too. So um, you can keep up with me and all of, the, all of the social media. Anywhere there's a thumbs up, a love, a like, a heart, or whatever, a hug, whatever. Just find my name and, and, and do all of that. Thank you again. I'm Martha Redbone. I'll sing this one last song that uh, talks about, it's a Blake poem, talking about having compassion for each other. 
It's something that we all continually practice. Um, and as I said, you know, William Blake wrote uh, the desire for that way over 200 years ago. So, and we're still trying to figure it out. Does that mean we're dumb? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yes. So we have, a, that's right, absolutely. We don't learn, we need to learn from our mistakes, right? I think we need to stay at home a little longer. Like 18 is not enough, right? We gotta stay in a little bit longer. Okay, on another sorrow. <clears throat> and it's about knowing that someone is suffering and our responsibility as a human being to extend a, a helping hand. So even, if we, even though we can't physically be there to help, we can spread the word, we can do something about it. And, um, and we're all global citizens now, you know, and we're aware that we're global citizens and information travels a lot faster around the world now thanks to technology, so we know more quicker. And so I feel like for myself, I can only speak for myself, I feel once I know something is going on, or somebody needs help, I have to do something about it, help spread the word, lend a helping hand, try to kind of ease the pain and make the load a little bit lighter for our, for our friends. So that's what this, is, this song is about. Um, but in his word, Blake's words, he says, basically, how could you not do something? And his chorus says, Oh no, never can it be, never, never can it be. Like, please don't ever let this happen. So that's what I'm singing to you. Oh no, never can it be, never, never can it be. Oh no, never can it be, never, never can it be. Can I see another's woe and not be in sorrow too? Can I see another's grief and not seek for kind relief? Can I see a falling tear and not feel my sorrow share? Can a father see his child weep nor be with sorrow filled? Can a mother sit and hear an infant groan, an infant fear? Oh no, never can it be, never, never can it be. Oh no, never can it be, never, never can it be. And can he who smiles and all hear the wren of sorrow small? Hear the songbirds' grief and care, hear the woes that infants bear. And not sit beside the nest, pouring pity in their breast. And not sit the cradle near, weeping tear on infants' teeth. And not sit both night and day, wiping all our tears away. Oh no, never can it be, never, never can it be. Oh no, never can it be, never, never can it be. Oh, he not give his joy to all, he becomes an infant small. He becomes a man of woe, he doth feel the sorrow too. Think not thou canst sigh a sigh and thy maker is not by. Think not thou canst weep a tear and thy maker is not near. Always oh, gives to us his joy that our grief he may destroy. Till our grief is fled and gone, he doth sit by us and moan. Oh no, never can it be, never, never can it be. Oh no, never can it be, never, never can it be. Oh no, never can it be, never, never can it be. Oh no, never can it be, never, never can it be. Oh, no,